How would you sum up where we are today and what we are seeing across disruption? So the financial sector is right at the centre, I think, of two waves of disruptions. There's the direct disruption to the sector. You know, you've got 12,000 fintech startups trying to get their fork into the, the $20 trillion pie of, of financial sector assets. But I think there's also this second set of disruptions, which is what's happening to clients, what's happening to the businesses that the financial sector serves. And there, I think, you're seeing this collision of megatrends ranging from technological disruptions right through to urbanization and climate change that are creating a bewildering set of not just risks, but opportunities for businesses. Leo, how should firms respond if they are to be the disruptors rather than the disrupted? Today's incumbents, a lot of them will have been raised in mass production economics, where the real business model that you thrived with was high volume, low margin, hit your break even, get your numbers up, and then you're in profit. And the risk is that in the age of the algorithm, in the age of exponential technology, that's your Achilles heel. What does a disruptor need to do? It needs to realize that liability, which is its historic success. It needs to look at the assets it's got, which is it's got the platform, it's got skills, it's got the cushion of some capital, and then it needs to plug that into the next wave of growth. There's that great Mark Anderson quote, what's the race? It's Will the innovators get scale before the incumbents get innovation? What the disruptive companies of the future are going to do, the incumbents who really survive and again position themselves as the winners in the next generation of the economy, is they will deploy all that platform capability that they got towards the next generation of growth. I agree. Get all those elements right and working for you and then you can identify the transformational responses that can move you from being a disrupted to a disruptor, and hence helping to define the future state of financial services. I was intrigued to read recently in a PwC global survey that 63% of CEOs thought that the AI revolution would have a bigger impact on the world than the internet. But 58% have not introduced any AI initiatives to transform their business or serve their customers. Leo, how do we square that circle? So AI is a big thing. Yeah. I think it's very easy uh, for an organization to put in place a little bit of an AI initiative and then think, OK, job done. We're yeah. innovators. And I think the risk is what you get is the illusion of innovation that what you haven't done is really scan the horizon for the disruptions that are coming and seeing what's the fit between your capabilities, your business model, and what that business landscape actually needs. And then used whatever technologies are the relevant ones, AI may be part of it, maybe not, exactly. to try to help you position yourself to deliver on that market. That's the challenge. To me, that is the disruption. Because if you don't harness all of these things that are happening, then you will be disrupted and off. And I suppose it, you lose the, the impact of having disruption as an opportunity. And I think that's exactly it. For us, we see three crucial skill sets. It's almost like a Venn diagram with three circles. Can you scan the horizon? Have you got the capability to lift your head up and see what's coming down the track, to scan the horizon? Have you also then got the capacity to redefine the capabilities that really are the vital ones to help you ex excel in that new environment. And then third, have you got the, the muscle to implement at speed and scale within the very short time frame that these opportunities provide for?